Hello friends, welcome to the third PHP tutorial in which we are going to talk about the variables. Mm, for that, create a new file in the Notepad++ and similarly we are going to write start the PHP. Oh, first of all, click on the language and then go to the P and find the PHP in P. That this is the use of Notepad++ that we can actually know with syntax just predefined uh, which are not and then close the php bracket and then we are going to about the different variables first of all we are going to talk about declaring a variable so we can declare variable as dollar of x let's say and then dollar of x equals to this is a very this is a string in which we are going to write my name is Nishan. you can write anything this is a dollar of x and now dollar of x contains the string value and similarly we can assign this is the equal to is an assignment operator don't forget that and let's say dollar of y equals to 21 now the value of dollar of y is now 21 uh, don't forget to end it with a semicolon this one now uh, these are the variables this is the way how you can declare a variable and you can also declare in dollar of capital x equals to this is different this is different from small x so capital as is a, php is a case sensitive language so that's why dollar of x capital x is different from dollar of small x don't forget that also and now we are going to display the output of these variables now how we are going to do that there are two ways we can display the variables like echo in this within two parentheses not parentheses invert whatever it is so we can display like uh, right dollar of x and and let's say while my age is 20 so and my age is dollar of y let's say that this output first save it as tutorial hello world variable yes save it now Go to your browser, localhost slash tutorial because we have saved all of our files there only and slash as previously we have run let's see hello world and now we are going to run uh, variables we are a b l e s dot p h p so this is my name is Nishan and my age is 20 and now we are going to do some more stuff this is how we have displayed the output there is another way of displaying that click on echo oh, sorry right echo and then we can dollar of x we can write it as dollar of x and then give a space this is this dot is a concatenation operator as told in the previous tutorial also and then dot and then my age is it's again dot operator and then dollar of y this is going to this and this are same but the difference is we had kept the variable outside the double inverted commas here on also and we have combined this whole string together with the help of dot operator which is also known as concatenation operator i'm going to show the result right now take care and you can see this is the previous output and the latest output is my name is Nishant and my age is 20 again so this was a different way how we can display the output now I am going to echo BR so that actually two BRs BR and again BR that's for the next line I have done it twice now we are going to talk about the local variables and global variables 
local and global global VRIA mm, local variables are those variables which are assigned within the parenthesis let's say I am going to create a function mm, like QNCT IOM function H E L L O. Mm, let me assign the value of dollar of y equals to 50. Now, this is local variable. Clearly, and this one is the global variable. G L O B A global variable. Uh, if you are not understanding what's going on why I have created the function don't worry about it because I am going to teach in detail what function and how we are going to use it but just right now type the codes and you can call the function by just typing in the name of the function like hello and this will call the function now we will do echo dollar of y so it will display output as 50 because it's a local variable and within the function dollar of y is declared here so let me show you control plus s to save and then click on the browser again enter so answer is 50 and that's sure and because dollar of y is declared here within the parenthesis these are the parentheses this is not a local variable and dollar of 20 this is a global variable now let me tell you about a global variables and local variables but a global keyword now if you let me tell you how an error can come if you will write just echo dollar of y then it will surely give an error and let me show you how it is going to give an error undefined variable y so this variable is on line 18 so on line 18 this dollar of y is not defined within the function and it is important because this function don't know what's going outside either we have we can pass it into, through the function inside the function we have not defined the dollar of y but there is a way without passing the argument we can access dollar of y so go through like this so be a global dollar of y now it global is a keyword which is used to access the global variables from the outside function so that it can be used inside the function without passing it through the parent arguments now the answer will be 20 let me show you the answer is 20 and now I am going to tell you about the static keyword mm, ok leave it I am going to tell you about the static keyword in the next tutorial uh, for now if you have any doubt then you can write in the comments I am always there to help you and will try to resolve your problem as soon as possible if you have any problem any doubt write in the comments and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.